It's time to breathe, bend, and stretch. Hi, it's Bethany. Would you like to spend the day being an explorer? What does an explorer do? They go and discover all kinds of interesting things. We're going to go on an exploration through the mountains today. And one interesting fact is that in yoga, there is a pose called mountain pose. And it's just about the most important yoga pose you could learn. Why? Well, it creates the foundation for all of your other poses. What in the world does that mean? Well, I think that we should do mountain pose, and I bet that if we explore mountain pose, we'll figure out why it's so important. Come on, let's go to the map. Here's what you'll need for your practice. You'll need some space so that you can move around. You'll want to have some water so that you stay hydrated. And you can grab your yoga mat and put it out. But if you don't have one, don't worry. It's totally fine to practice without one. Let's look at the poses we're doing today. We're doing mountain pose bear pose, rabbit pose, and cougar or cat pose. Stand tall and strong. Mountains are tall and they're strong and they have a really strong foundation. That's your feet in your body. We're going to press down through our feet and then the next part that we want to make strong is our legs. Engage your legs. That means squeeze your thighs. You feel like you could stand here all day long, strong, just like a mountain, and still just like a mountain. But we're going to continue up until we get all the way to the peak of the mountain, which of course is your head. We have to strengthen in the middle of this mountain. Pull your belly in. And then mountains, they don't hunch over or fall down. They stand really, really tall with a big, big open surface. Open your chest just like the mountain shows its big, broad surface. And then lengthen up through your head like the very, very top of the mountain reaching to the sky. Use your arms now to help you balance. Strengthen your arms, squeeze your arms, and push through your fingers towards the floor. Notice how strong you are. You may also notice that there's still some motion in your body, and that's because we're human, we're not mountains. But we're doing our very, very best to do our very best mountain pose. Take two breaths here. Breathe in the nose and out the nose. Keep pressing your feet. Breathe in. Stretch up tall. Breathe out. And then relax. You guys were fantastic mountains. So when we do all of the rest of our poses, we want to be strong all through our body, just like a mountain. And we also want to ultimately find stillness when we're in the pose. Shh, wait a minute. There's something over there. It's a bear. Let's do bear pose. Bear pose is just like chair pose, but one difference. So chair pose is like this. And bear pose, we stretch our arms forward and bring our head down. Strong, 
just like a bear. Bears are very intelligent. They are strong-willed. They are very independent. That means that they operate really well on their own. But guess what? You can come out of your pose. Let me tell you something really fabulous about bears. They're really very caring and nurturing, especially to their little bear cubs. Now, don't run up to a bear, but if you were a bear cub, that mother bear would take super good care of you. Now, something that is really cute and cuddly is a bunny rabbit. And I see some bunny rabbits around here. There's a yoga pose called rabbit. Let's go to the mat. Come down on your hands and your knees and sit down onto your heels. Then take your hands and reach back to touch your heels. Put your chin on your chest and slowly start to round down, making your back round like a rabbit. Hold on to your heels, bring your head to the ground, and lift your hips up towards the sky, and then slowly come back up. And don't forget to wiggle your nose. Before we head on back, I heard that there were some big cats that live up in these mountains. They're called cougars. And I feel like if we do a cat pose, some cougars may come to check out and explore what we're doing. Let's see if it works. Come down on your hands and knees. Spread open your fingers wide, big cat paws. Take a deep in breath through your nose. And then round your back as you breathe out, all the way up towards the sky. On your in breath, lift your chest, let your spine go toward the mat, and we can look around a little bit, see if we spot any cougars, and then tuck your chin, rounding your back, coming in your cat. Let's do one more, just to be sure. In breath, lift the chest. Exhale, breathing out, pull in your belly and round your back all the way towards the sky. And then bring your spine so that it's nice and long and you look like a table. And we'll check out and see if any cougars came across what we were up to. If they discovered us, maybe they were taking a nap. We're going to head back down the mountain and make our way home. Let's do mountain pose one more time. Stand tall. Press your feet down. Engage your thighs, squeeze your thighs, pull in your belly, lift your chest, lengthen up through your head, and strengthen your arms. Taking two breaths, breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. You did a really great job today. Now it's time to lie down and rest. So lie down on your back, stretch your legs out long, let your feet and all your toes relax. Bring your arms down by your sides, your palms facing up towards the sky. Relax your face and close your eyes. Breathe deeply. Feel your belly rise and fall with your breath all the way in and all the way out. 
taking five more breaths here. Relaxing, trying not to move around. Breathing in and out. You'll notice that thoughts come in your mind. Just watch your thoughts drift like clouds in the sky. Breathing in and breathing out. Taking one more deep and relaxing breath here. Gently open your eyes, bend your knees, place your feet on the ground, and then roll over to one side. Press yourself up slowly and mindfully. It was great practicing with you. I had a lot of fun exploring with you today. Until next time, bye.